Okay, another Nintendo Top Loader Repair video. Yes, unfortunately, I think I might have found one that I have not actually got on video before. And what I have is uh, hooked up original AC adapter, so I'm outputting 9 volts AC. Um, it's not modified yet, so it's still on the RF. It did come with a bad power cap, so it's already been replaced. And I've already re uh, put a different rectifier on it, thinking that was the problem. So this is what I get. I've got an audible hum, and it's uh, white with kind of like a pink bar moving down. However, if I put it on DC power in, it's fine. You would think rectifier, right? But it's not. I've checked it. Even the old one checked the same as the, uh, the known good one. So I have to look somewhere else. And I'm not quite sure where it's going to lead me just yet. It's, I mean, it's got to be something on the power circuit, but you know, usually other than that power cap and rectifier, there isn't much else, but let's take a closer look. Yeah, I definitely like to start out with simple stuff like voltage. Holy shit. Yeah, that's not good. Okay, it's feeding... I'm feeding the... I think it's 9 volt DC. Uh, crap, let me get one. I don't know if you can see this or not, but I'm getting 6.8 volt DC. That is uh, not right. So that definitely leads me to believe voltage regulator. What else could it be, right? There ain't much else. Let's uh, swap it out and see what happens. Okay, known working regulator. Still feeding DC in. 4.976 volts. That sounds right. So let's try AC. Score. It's working. And 4.98 volts. Excellent. I love easy fixes. Okay, so a good lesson for not only testing the voltage regulator, but also testing Nintendos in general. The original AC adapter outputs 9 volts AC, but it will accept almost any kind of power. As long as it's 9 volts or higher, it can be AC or DC. Um, of course, you have to have the right size tip, and as long as it outputs probably over six or seven hundred milliamps, it'll work on a Nintendo. But you need to test with AC and DC because of stuff like this. I've had problems both ways where it worked fine on the original AC adapter, but didn't work on a DC adapter. Turns out there was an open in the rectifier. I sent a modded top loader all the way to Ukraine and it failed because of that. All because I didn't test it with a DC adapter. You guys sent it back, you got a full refund. So anyway, um, and also these, these cheap Chinese DC adapters have their problems too with uh, adding interference and stuff like that on the video. But, lesson learned, check with both.